Hello. Hello, Hello. Manel. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? You? Really good. I'm really good. How are you doing this Saturday? Great. You planning to do some work? <laughs> Working at oh, home. Always. Always. <laughs> right. So today we're going to do a portfolio review. Um, so Manel and I, we know each other from the school I was working with and um, she she's put up a portfolio and she shared it on LinkedIn and I saw it the other day and she su she suggested that I could give her some feedback. So um, I suggest to record this video so you guys can benefit from it and we can review it and um, we can review it afterwards and, and get some ideas. So uh, first of all, I would like to um, to just well, 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 tell me, tell me, Manel, what do you think a portfolio should have? That's a great question. Well, should have your work. <laughs> okay, that's important, right? Like every designer should have a portfolio. That's that's a must. That's true. Because you know, it's just not just the CV. Uh, people are going to be like, okay, but show me your work. Right? Exactly. Because you can have diplomas, but it's exactly. important to have a style, a work. Well, this is something that we can't read in a CV. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. But where is your work, right? Like, if I'm going to hire you, what are we going to be doing? And um, what, what's the value you can bring to my company or to my team? or to just my project or whatever it's going to be. So I think a portfolio as a basics, you should put up a intro of yourself. Like who are you? Like a little bit of background. Um, and, and that's where you have a chance to display some personality traits. Um, you can, you can set like a tone of voice, um, but it's important to have like an, an intro, introduction of yourself. What do you or, think about, hmm. well, I'm sorry to cut you, but... No, go, go ahead. Uh, well, in your intro, you have to write about yourself since you started as a designer, a graphic designer, or even before, what you were doing before. Because I have a right. kind of mixed, hmm. you know, I, I studied see. architecture and then interior design. And um, I studied graphic design. And I really want to work in graphic design, actually. <laughs> so mm -hmm. sometimes I think that is a good idea to talk about my background because it's related to creativity. Architecture and interior design is, I think we have the same concepts. We talk about shapes, textures, uh, composition. So maybe you can mm -hmm. give a big picture of what I can do or what I know. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, there's no rules about how you want to do that or how you can do that or, or what's the best way to do that. Um, but what I think is that you should at least let them know, let, let know the, the other party, what, 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 what it is, what you do, what it is that mm -hmm. you do. Um, you can talk about your previous experience. You can talk about uh, that you, the fact that you are just starting like, Hey, I want to be a designer. I have no experience. So that's, that's what I've done so far. And then you can put some videos, you can put whatever it is. Or then you can be like, Hey, I'm a, I'm a consultant. I don't have any projects, but Hey, that's, you know, that's some case studies about how I interact with my clients or, um, I am a, a developer. Just contact me. I don't know, like there's, there's multiple, there's different, it's going to be different for a UI or web designer than for mm -hmm. a, a, a people who draws or an illustrator or a Photoshop artist. Um, but what, what's important, I think it's, you should have like two or three lines about um, your background. You don't need to tell the whole story, like since you started till you ended, but um, I think a little bit of, um, a little yeah, bit of right. background, right? It's like, it's like when, when you go to a conference or a meeting, um, imagine the guy, it just starts talking like, 
All right, I've done this, I've done that. Well, what is normal is that the guy says, hey, thank you for coming here or thank you for taking the time. Um, today, we're going to see this, this, this and that. Uh, I come from New York, wherever it is. And for the last five years, I've been doing this, this and that. And let's jump into it. You know, some, yeah. some, some kind of this stuff. I think right. I didn't write any intro in my first page because I we'll linked see. this portfolio to LinkedIn. And so yeah. before you find this link, you have a layer bio. So maybe I was just thinking that people would read it and then get into it. But you're right, because if I just send the link to someone who is not in LinkedIn, mm. you can't read the right. intro. Right. So uh, let's, let's just jump into it. I'm going to share the All screen. Right. And you ready? I'm ready. All right. I'm going to share the screen. So we're going to see your portfolio because I have it ready in the background. So where it is? There we go. Fine. Okay. There we go. Right. So that's your portfolio. Mm, Is it? Let me know when you see it. Um, all right. Right, so if I open your portfolio, that's what I'm going to see. Right? Yeah, that's right. Right, so, um, right, people's going to scroll down without, um, without knowing who are you, right? Um, so you, you are skipping the intro, which sometimes it's fine, right? Because people want to see your work. Mm -hmm. um, but and and plus, like people are gonna assume that your work is good. They just pe people. I mean, your work is good, um, and your Thank work you. has to be good. <laughs> <laughs> of course, like just for the fact that you've put the time to put the work out there, uh, it is already something to value. So you know, people are assuming that you are a designer and you work on it uh, on on design. So uh, just it's 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 just okay. It's just great that you've put your work. Um, so, but you're missing the opportunity to tell the to tell the person who are you with your own style and tone of voice. So what I'm what I'm leaving here is is your intro. Uh, I have to just go straight to the projects. So, or oh, maybe I'm missing it. Uh, I can go ho home. Okay, home is this, and then go to contact. Right, right. In contact you just have a form and I can I can fill up the form you can take advantage of these parts right to, to put like two or three lines like contact hey if you want to start a project whatever it is so you can also take advantage of the tone of voice bear in mind that um, like your, your portfolio is is another piece of your portfolio just like your website is another piece of your portfolio you know what i mean like my portfolio is another piece of my work exactly like i'm gonna put you an example like your clothes or your house is just an extension of your style right yeah. if you live if you live in a mansion in a big house in a castle i know what kind of person you are but if you live in a tiny um very humble and very honest and uh, in a very, in a very like small but nice and cozy house, it's cool as well. But I I know I know what kind of person you are. So you know, and your clothes as well. It's very superficial, right? But like your website, it's it's a part of you. It's another piece of your design. You see what I mean? Yeah, this is right. It's express who I am. Exactly. So people can, going. yeah, they, they see it and they can know if I'm a messy person or organized, if I like dark colors or exactly. clear colors. I mean, it's so here I can see, exactly, exactly. So I can see that, you know, I, I can, I can really see your, um, your work. I can, I can imagine this when, when I go to mobile, this is going to be great because it adapts, right? So it, it works perfectly on mobile. Um, so, you know, it's good. You're using Adobe portfolio, which is great. So you are Adobe person. 
So you, you are already telling all of these things to the person who is looking at your portfolio, isn't it? Right. So you have the links there, like Behance, LinkedIn, YouTube, and mail, email. And let's just jump into the projects. All right. For example, you know, I think someone hiring would just scroll down and they're going to they're going to look for a project that looks like, like what they're looking for, right? If they're looking for illustration, they're probably going to watch the first one. If they're looking for uh, branding or a logo designer, they're definitely going to They're going to go here. So for example, you know, I'm curious, I'm curious about your logo folio, right? Logo folio here. You, you, you again, right? you're missing a chance to tell people who, wh what it is that you do or what's been your approach in the logo folio. So, right. The logos are great. The logos are great. Um, and that's what we expect. That's what everybody expects from your work. That is great. Um, however, we don't know how you get to that solution, right? What does we it don't mean? Know what... what do you mean? Exactly. That? I mean, that's AR consulting. Uh -huh. Right. Uh, what, what? Who was the client? I don't know if they are uh -huh. like fa fake logos or just no, challenges. This is, they are all real. Okay. Yeah. So then you can take another couple of hours uh, to set a description for every every logo, and maybe you can build okay. inst instead of like one, two, three, four, four logos in one piece of portfolio. Maybe you can build five pieces of portfolio with different logos. All right. Like every logo you have, you're gonna you're gonna have sketches. You're gonna have what was the goal and what's been the outcome, and then you can apply some mockups. You can put the logo on a mockup, or if it is if it is real, you can take pictures of it. Okay, I'm happy that you you mentioned this because I had some questions. Um, so mockups, they are a representation mm -hmm. of. The, for example, we talk about the logo. So mm -hmm. we put your, our logo on, a, on an object, on a product. So the mock-up should be with the logo, right? And not in a different file. So this is my first question. The second right. question, um, is it fine to create uh, logos and hmm. post them on our portfolio? Like create them personally from a fictive idea? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah? Absolutely. Like you don't need to like we profile need to, a exactly. person or a business and we just design it with some features. Exactly. Let's say, you know, you take your uh, a friend or a member of your family and say, Hey, tell me a business idea that you would like to like imagine if you would like to launch a business next year, what would that be? And someone would say, Oh, I would like to launch a wine company or I would like to launch an investment company. There we go. Then tell me about it. Tell me what's the business. What's the size of the business? Who is it for? So you it's know? important so to write um, projects, is, like personal projects. It is projects. very important. Mm -hmm. It is very important. You, you know, people, but because that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be working for an agency or for some or, or for someone who's going to have a problem. Like my problem is to design a logo for a t-shirt brand that I'm going to launch. Uh, a t-shirt brand for who? For children, for moms, for um, sports, you know what it is. So you need to gather the requirements and the business objectives, and then you can design the logo. Then the logo can be like something like Nike, right? Something very easy. But what's the target? What, what, what problem is solving? So when you design the logo, you're going to be designing the identity system, the colors and everything. So that would make sense based on, on the, the, um, the kind of business, mm -hmm. right? So take advantage and you can build, you can build pieces, different pieces of portfolio or just add a couple of lines. I mean, it, it depends on the time you want to spend on this, but I think it's worth spending time on the, on your portfolio. Cause that, cause that's, that's your, your credit card. That's like your business, your business face in the business world. Yeah. So I think you can the definitely business of design. 
yeah that's it like design everybody can do everybody can do a logo like look at the again like the nike logo it's not just how it looks is the people it serves so it serves it like the nike logo it's able to transform a normal person into a great athlete right or some or the logo apple is able to transform a normal computer into a changing world computer yeah it's a story behind the brand exactly actually. that's why I'm, that's where i'm going so let's continue let's let's analyze another project All right let's continue <laughs> <laughs> how you do? How how are we doing so far? I like it. I really like yep. it. I'm having okay, fun. Okay, which which one would you like me to go through? All right. Well, Maybe the first one. Okay, um, speed drawing. Yeah. I'm I'm really into speed drawing. Like I'm building some some speed drawings as well. I'm gonna give feedback on this one because I saw it the other day. I think it's pretty All right. cool. Right. Thank you. <laughs> right. I tried. So, I tried it like mm -hmm. a month ago, two months ago. I was like, okay, I like to draw. What if I just record it and exactly. so we can see the how it is? And it, it's pretty cool. Right, it is. I love it. Right, so how long is that video? I think it's three minutes. Okay, we're gonna just get started. Let's see. Okay, so the video is loading. Right, I mean, this is pretty cool because, mm -hmm. you know, Always what, what, what the eye can't see is really, really cool. Let's say the clouds moving or a flower growing, which are things that move by nature very slow, right? When you see those videos of a flower growing, it's like, oh my God, my eye can't see it because it takes months to happen. Exactly. Uh, or, or this, like it takes hours to happen. Yeah. Well, this one, one took hour, like two hours and a half. Two hours, right? one or two hours and then you're gonna see it in one or one two three minutes like yeah. wow man there's a lot of work like it's saving you time this is value this to me it's 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 high value because you are saving someone's time and then you know you allow for conversation here because people's gonna ask oh how much how long did you spend on on this drawing and then you can say, oh, um, you know, one hour because this, this and that. And then again, you can write two, three, five lines of text explaining what were you trying to achieve? What was this for? What is for a client? Was it for your personal use? What was it for? And then how long did you spend it? So you even save more time to the other person because then people are going to be like, okay, um, this is great. Like this is, this is a, a drawing that is in fast motion so it's like three two hours you said and yeah, i'm watching two hours, and a half. two hours and a half and i'm watching it in th three minutes and a half so it's saving me time but that's a fact so but i have to ask you how was how long did you take it how long did it take to you i mean um because maybe i'm interested if you're able to do it in two hours then it's all right. But if you take five hours, maybe it's too much. You know, someone, may, maybe people need to know. I mean, it's something you could tell. Do you think it's say, important to write hmm. a sentence like, Always. Like, it took two hours just above the video. Well, it took I'm two sure hours you, or, hmm. I'm sure know. you can, I'm sure you can, you can, you can say something else. I'm sure you can say, um, you know, I was, I was just bored at home without doing nothing. Uh, with this lockdown and quarantine for the coronavirus, just doing nothing. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to start recording my screen while I do this drawing. You know, this is already three lines. So, you know, always give context, give a bit of context, always. I think you can write, because otherwise it's like, okay, that's just the logo, but what is it, who is it for? Mm -hmm. Always give, always give a little bit of, of background. Explanation. Yes. Even if it, for example, the, the one below, the Halloween one. Yeah, the plus three. I, I know where this banana came from because I've made it. <laughs> uh, we made it at the school and I know it's the same banana. Yeah, uh, well, this one, well, if we look into it, um, the Halloween poster, it was okay. for the competition. So okay. at school, well, we... 
All we right. did a competition and I just wanted to okay. participate. And so we can okay. see the progress in that in that file. Let's go. Let's go. But before before that, um, let me just add something to the to the speed drawing. Uh, the speed drawing is great, but you know how it's going to be even more great? Tell me. If you add a music on the background. Ah, uh, yeah. That's true. Right? If you put a music, music on the background. Some jazz in music. <laughs> jazz or, um, or maybe some drum and bass, something fast sometimes or something slow. I don't know. I, I used, I don't know. I, I Sometimes I like, I mean, you you try. You try and you'll realize that everything works. It just depends on the drawing. If you are uh, drawing something Star Wars related, maybe you want to put a music, really, a, Star, a Star Wars music. If you are doing this drawing, which is like a woman, maybe you want to put something more jazzy. Yeah, and if this you will are, connect people with all their senses. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Like take advantage of what you're doing to connect. Exactly, that's the word, like connect the senses as you just said exactly right let's 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 keep it going right this one i think that's great you know this is funny um miedo que pela right it's funny right you i think some personality right i'm really into funny stuff it, it mm -hmm. may, i like funny stuff i i take pleasure making them mm -hmm. okay Maybe, you know, something a little bit more technical. Um, I'm not sure about this typography matching the Halloween one, because this typography is pretty, um, I mean, it's like from the army, you know, it's uh -huh. something stands, um, something that you would put on uh, wooden boxes to, care, to, you know. Yeah, that's true. To trade with some kind of army. Or weapons or stuff <laughs> like I that. But I think this change in the last one. This is the progress. I mm -hmm. think I changed. All right. All right. So maybe you There's can tell me. Maybe you can explain why. Why did you choose that, this typography and then why you change it afterwards? Right. That will give me a lot of value. Uh, that, well, that will give value. Like why are you making this decision and why did you decide to change it afterwards? Right. I think I just thought that it doesn't match. I just felt that it doesn't match, and I just change well, it into something that would be more horror. Like yeah, but it why? makes a thing in horror movie. Right. Why? Because this will can be, well, this is like a Halloween movie. So it can, exactly. it has to be a little bit like creepy right. or. Exactly. So you I see? just thought that that one doesn't match. So right. you are right. That's great. Like That's great. Army. You know, cause if, so, if someone, if you go on an interview, uh, people are going to be asking you like, okay, why the, why this? Why? People are going to be asking why. So you have to be ready for the why. If you can tell the why in advance, people are going to focus on other, of, are going to focus on other things, on other stuff. So your portfolio has to show the why. I mean, your portfolio is showing the what right now. You have to show the what, the how and the why. So are you suggesting adding a sentence at the beginning of all this uh, progress yeah. or for each one have a little sentence? Both. Okay. Both. I think both, you know, the final result is great. So put it, put it in a mock-up as well. Well, yeah, right. right. We, I have it on a, on a mock-up, but not in this page actually. All right. Everything on a mock-up, like the t-shirt. Let's go okay. to this t-shirt. Oh, right. Yeah. So, okay. This is the more, okay. I see where you're going now. Like that. All right. I see. I see. So mockups is just how you put everything on a mockup. Yeah. But maybe it would right. be better to have it with the, the initial design. I so think we can so. understand. Right. Yeah. Um, of, I mean, yeah, you will realize sooner or later, you will realize that every project is going to have mockups because you see, this is a t-shirt. Then this is like a brochure. Uh, this is like a poster. This is a cap. This is a sign, a back and a book, right? So it's very different. Uh, each, each one is very different from, from the other one. Uh, so you're solving different problems. So as you can see, you're always going to be doing mockups. So a designer should know how to mock up things. 
So the fact that you are putting a project, a specific project that is called mockups, it's great. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's great. However, it's basic, right? Um, people are assuming that you know how mockup mockups work. Uh, so it, it it's good for now, uh, but I think now you're ready to step up and put a, a single mockup in every project. You see where I'm going? Yeah, and not have it as a simple page. Right, exactly. Mm. But it, it 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 was it was it was okay because you just learn what a mockup is, and then you wanna brag out of it like, look, I can do mockups. But then at some point you realize that everybody is doing mockups, so you need you need, you need to like step up, as I say, and and get this as a must, mm -hmm. and then start putting descriptions. And then when you put descriptions, you will realize that this was a must. So you gotta focus on you gotta focus on value. But if you can focus on value from the very beginning, you're gonna be great. Because you know it's mockups. But what was the challenge? Like, did you create that mockups? If you create them, then it's great. Then you see where I'm going? Like you yeah. can you can create a, a mock-up project. Like there's people creating mockups and putting them out there for people to use. I see. Get, well, yeah, right? it's a little bit different from what I'm doing. Yeah, you're just stealing mockups like everyone does, including I'm myself. I'm not stealing mockups. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're downloading I'm them using for free. Them. <laughs> right. You're downloading them. Despite you know how to create them, it's easier to look for a mockup which match your, which matches your uh, personality in that design. And well, then... I think that we with like big projects we we, sh we will just take photos of our real um, packaging and do the mock-up on it yeah that's it but sometimes so, the project is not done sometimes the project is not going to reality so we can't take the, the picture so we have to use mock-ups that's that's how it is let me see this video 20 second video okay that's time lapse made in Photoshop. Again, moving sky on photo. Well, you give, you leave a, you give a little bit of, of explanation here, but you know, you, you need a little bit more. Uh, so maybe you can take Illustrator or the software that you use to design and build the same portfolio in Illustrator and then export, export the, um, I'll say it export the, the, the slides um, like I do. For example, let me, let me show you. How do you do that? Right. Yeah, you do that. How do you do that? Mm -hmm. How I do that? Yeah, so what are you proposing All right. exactly? For example, let me, let me show you. Um, well, I did it with the 36 days of type and with it with the um, daily UI. I do it with, with Figma which is the software I'm using right now. Um, I did it with a daily UI and I do it like this. So first oh, I explain right. a little, you saw it the other day on, on, on Behance. So I build it like this, right? And in every piece of, in every, every piece of content, I put a little bit of, of explanation and then I export the different slides. So you, you export uh, the different slides like columns as one column is one picture or yeah, like every you part? See, you see the dashed line? Yeah, I do. Like this is one, this is another one, this so is another one. One picture, one picture, right? Yep. It, okay. it, it comes out as a JPG. Okay. Yeah. So what do you, what, what's so you the name of one. this program? This is Figma, it's called Figma. Figma, okay. It's a UI um, infrastructure, which is very similar to Illustrator and it's online. You don't need to pay anything. It's great. <laughs> okay, you, d you can just uh, register with your email. Yeah, or let me show you this one, for example. So you're gonna see, you, you can see different stuff. This is shorter, but it's great as well. 
you see like yeah this is like a little bit of introduction then you have the final product which is this this screen is not showing the product ready it's not showing the product yet um, but then you know the bottom line the bottom line is like okay how all of this started and then i always put the challenge and the outcome right okay, what was the so challenge this is how you describe the project right right exactly but that's how i do it you know there's multiple ways of doing it you know in this case there was research and analysis the yeah, it's met methodology it's like you can have yeah. diagnostic and then you create exactly. a therapy yeah exactly exactly and and so on so you know always give a little bit of explanation explanation yeah like background and then what's this right uh-huh hmm. so oh, that's, actually that's i don't know if this uh would interest people i don't know like it should be maybe well, a business try. of cartoons i don't know or people who wants to make ads with hmm. cartoon well, you have to know your target. I mean, you just need to connect with people and say, hey, um, it, it, it depends. I mean, um, if, you do, if you do stuff for free, I think doing, st doing stuff for free is great at the beginning to build projects uh, and to not, not to make money, but to have more projects with, uh, with a purpose, right? So let's say, you know, if you like, like what, what, what's your best, what's your best skill? Let's say illustration or Photoshop manipulation or what, what's your best skill? What so you're you asking me? Yeah, I'm asking you. I like, I like them all. Yeah. But what, what's your, what's your, I mean, what, what's you are, what, um, what you are good at? You're good at illustration or are Photoshop manipulation or, or I mean, what, what's your best strength? Always say that's the thing that you would do forever. I see. Or the three things. This is a great time. question. Yeah, this is a really great question to ask right now because I'm still thinking about it. I mean, well, from I, learned, what I see. Well, I, I draw since I'm young. That's okay. true. But it was more personal, you know? But now I, I can draw for professional purpose. And the, I, I see myself doing montage um, right. and it can be artistic com combination. Okay. Um, Have you got any clients yet? For logo, yeah. But not for ads or montage. For okay. artist, more artistic project, no. Okay, I would suggest you something. I would suggest, I would suggest you two things. One, you've got paid logos, like these logos, You've been paid for that logos, for those logos. The logos I did? Yeah, those ones we've seen before. Ah, uh, well, those ones were for real businesses. But were for it real was, business. Yeah, but it was for like free. It was a it trial. It was for free, but they were yeah. real. It was a real okay. business, yeah. So there's a they relation. They were all real. Right, okay. So you can, you can write a story about each one of them. Okay. Okay, so focus, like narrow your your design uh exp mm, your design field let's say uh sometimes we want to do everything but from what i see in your portfolio you do you do logos you do illustration and you do photoshop manipulation which is kind of similar to illustration so narrow down you can do logos and illustration and be expert at that so remove other stuff remove video uh well you can keep the video the illustration video and build like two lines the line of illustration and the line of logos so for the line of logos write everything write a story write what was the challenge the outcome and everything how you did it why you did it all of this and then for the illustration and, and well, before jumping to the illustration, when you've got, when you've got the, the logo portfolio built, then start looking for clients. 
or companies that they do branding, brand companies. This is a really uh, interesting fact because if I want business. to narrow it, well, I thought about it that way, I would specialize in visual identity. It's something that I right. really like and I feel competent in it. I, I can do it because mm -hmm. I understand. I have the, I can make the link between the meaning of the company and how I can express it, you know, right. and all this work that we have to do with the client, we have to empathize, we have to understand, we have do to listen. Do you love listen. that? Do you love I love doing it. That? I, can I love tell. it. I, I worked Cause... as a coach, so it's something right. that I would use it. Like, great. This is just amazing. Listen. So I think I want to yeah. specialize in visual identity. Right. So you're giving me now a lot of insights, a lot of value, a lot of inspiration if I'm a business owner. So I'd be like, wow, I'm not just hiring someone who can do my logo. I'm just hiring someone who can design my full identity, who's been a coach, who can act as a consultant. So it can be my, my right hand at some point. So that's what someone's looking for. So it's not so just, people are not just looking for order takers. People are looking for people who can actually run a business or run a department or run a design team or be like owners of their work. So that's great. It's not just, you're just not a designer. You're passionate about it and you're passionate with all that, all, all, all what it, all what it includes, if that makes sense. So one, build your logo portfolio in the right way, like explaining everything. That's one. Number two is illustration. So you, you love that. You're good yeah. at that. And there's some people who need that. However, you cannot be paid for that because maybe you haven't have had the experience yet to do anything for any business. So I would suggest you the following. Why don't you search in Instagram, search the hashtags illustration. You search for the hashtag illustration and look at every single profile. Spend 25 minutes looking every single profile um, and see if they have a website, if they have um, whatever it is that they do and see how they do it and see if you can do something better than what they have. If you can, then write them, hey, how's it going? I love what you do. Um, I would do illustrations for free during one year um, because that's what I love to do. Again, hey, I love what you're doing. I would do illustrations for you for free during one year. Yeah. Okay, That's well, it. I have. St I started doing this with uh, my actual client. I currently, I'm with um, with a businesswoman who is starting her business, and mm -hmm. I I told her that like you have we have three months trial, and just to mm -hmm. help you start your business, and so I started with the logo. We we worked together, and we kept, came up with the an idea that fits her identity. And now I'm in the business card and maybe in the future mm -hmm. she's, she, she would want more, but at the same okay. time, like I w I'm working on the visual identity guideline, the norm documents for mm -hmm. her brand. So it's a, it's a work that needs a lot of like yeah. interactivity, a lot of communication. And right. I think it, it can work yeah. like that too for illustration. I think so. You, 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 t you, you're talking about one person or one business, but if you do this with, every single person on Instagram that you follow them by, by the way, I, I, well, I'm assuming you have Instagram. I don't have Instagram anymore. Okay. <laughs> anymore. So you used to, I had many accounts. <laughs> okay. Well go on LinkedIn, yeah. go on YouTube, go on, on anywhere you, anywhere you, you want, but people put their stuff on internet. So, just email or LinkedIn every every person that you need might have illustrations and say this, I will do illustrations for you for free. Because if you do that, the person rarely is going to say no. I mean, a lot of people are going to say no. Let's be honest. Like a lot of people are going to say, oh no, I'm fine. Thank you. Appreciate what you, I appreciate this, the, this, the offer. Even if it's for free, we're going to say no. But maybe someone's going to say yes. 
uh, we, we talk about this in the past, right? So that's actually, it's not science, but almost like if you can do that, you have something to work for. Like even if yeah. you're not paid, you're building a piece for your portfolio so you can start acting like a real illustrator, yeah. like asking exactly them questions, that, yeah. right? Asking them questions, what is it for? And getting used to that. And then you can put in practice some business concepts and where you've got, I mean, this is going to take, I don't know. I think it's going to take much less than you, than what you expect. If you start doing it today, like in just 25 minutes emailing people every day, you can get three, four projects very easy in one week. I mean, yeah. if, even in one day, you can do you, you You can get them. And with three or four projects, you are fine for one month or for two months. That's true. And, well, and, we, right? with that, the current client, like I just had to be honest and tell her what I was expecting. You know, exactly. like you, you need this and I'm in practice and I would like to, it would be my pleasure to do it. And right. she was... She was happy, you know? If you do that, if you do that, you have, you're going to be busy doing stuff for people. You're not getting paid, but you are getting three or four pieces of portfolio that then you can expose and then you can show to other people and then start getting paid. Like, hey, I do this. Um, would you consider hiring me? But in, tr try to avoid this stuff like, hey, how are you doing? Check my portfolio. Because these things, we don't like this. I mean, p people don't like that. It's just, you know, not push, not push. It's like, hey, I love what you do, but it has to be true. It has to be real. Uh, if you like, if you if you don't like what what this person is doing, then just go to the next one. But if you like them, then email and say, hey, I love what you do, because people like appreciation, and then you're gonna be you 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 will feel that you're working for something that's purposeful so that's yeah. that's how you can be growing your business and being happy which is the most important yeah it's important to feel that you're serving i know like you are helping Very important yeah and people feel it people so. feel it exactly so um i've heard you know there's another thing that i'm not doing but i think it would be something cool to do if you have to start a portfolio which is do a video portfolio just record yourself explaining the portfolio like hey with this project like a video instead of writing it putting a video it's some of the ideas that today i i saw in on linkedin from a recruiter that was putting up a post like hey here's some ideas i think we recruiters like to see and basically is, is what we've been talking about. Give a little bit of background, show your personality, show the intro of yourself, of course, uh, overview of the projects, what was the challenge, how you made them, what was the, the, the goal, what was the outcome, and then some, some of the middle stuff. And then she mentioned, she mentioned the video stuff um, you know, video talking about work, but I'm not doing it. Um, and I, I actually prefer writing and, you know, um, I think there's, there's also space for, for people who want to read because the beauty of typography is not going to be possible on video. So I think, you know, it's not something essential, but on the other hand, I think it's something that would save time to people. So it's something that, you know, people might consider doing, but as I say, I'm not doing it. And, um, I don't know, um, my video is not Maybe someday you'll be great. interested. Maybe someday yeah. you will be interested Maybe. or find people who will, would help you yeah. or just have more ideas or find the way you want to express it. Yeah. So. In my, in my case, you know, as I'm doing today with you or what I'm doing in my, um, channels or that video cha instagram or youtube is doing videos like this <clears throat> with bad quality because what i think what's important this is, is this is content. this is quality content right it, it, exactly we are it's, in the business of of value exactly right? unless you are george lucas of star wars uh it doesn't really make sense to do a, a quality video 
obviously if the company you're working for pays you and has the budget to do a video production, that makes sense. But if not, what's important is the value that you're providing to people. So I think people yeah, will feel it. it. When right. the content is here, it's quality and you are honest and 100%. true. Yeah, true on what you're saying. People will exactly. be interested because most of the people, they, the people who want help or want to know how to do it better will just look for people who are sharing that, you know, not for the beautiful 100%. image or quality, you know? Yeah. And also another thing that I would say, which is very important and we've mentioned before, is that by showing your work and by showing how you did the work or by showing how you approach it, it gives a sense of how you could work together with that business and you um, and what's going to be the type of work that you're going to be delivering. Um, if you don't explain your project, uh, the other person doesn't know who are you and trust is, is something very important in, in this business. Um, but yeah, I definitely think, you know, whether the, the work is more or less relevant for, for some people, um, as long as it is well explained and it has solved an, so a, a problem, it's, it, it's, it's, it's great. It's great because, you know, for example, I don't know, let's say um, illustrations for a children's book, right? The illustrations are not going to be something spectacular and really realistic. Are going to be something that maybe someone's not interested in, but it has a lot of value for that market, right? Or the other way around, something from Star Wars or something realistic and with dragons and fire is very, is very eye catching for some kind of people, but it's not, it's not really meaningful for people who is looking for designs for the children's book. Right. Exactly. So always give context and ask, ask people because you never know. Um, but definitely is there. And, now more than ever it's time to uh, to connect with people people stuck at home watching instagrams fucking dogs doing nothing right so if you can take advantage to rebuild your portfolio it's gonna take one or two weeks and you got it you got it i'm gonna follow your advice it's a good advice i'm gonna build it oh. up and make it look as a killer portfolio that's it we can do another review once you're done and show the process all right it's important right. to show the process yeah you show the progress of the portfolio yeah i mean the the, pro, the portfolio if you want as well build yeah, it. Why not? How, we, how we build it on online i mean yeah I, I was i was referring to every project i mean the the pieces and the add logos. sentences explain add more content right hmm. Explanation. yeah like sh showing the process of every piece not to the portfolio itself because building okay. a portfolio you're going to be you're going to be doing lots of rights and wrongs and lots of nonsenses and maybe i don't know if it if it is relevant to people how you build the portfolio it might be it might be but what's important is the project itself uh if if you want to record the portfolio i think it's i think it's good i mean everything it's good everything is going to be um value for for some people if you if you're able to to rebuild your portfolio then you can show the after and before right everything everything can be can be can be great i'm saving all of my previous portfolios but i have never shown uh the before and after yeah. never done that but maybe in the future uh i'll be like look this was my first portfolio right i've seen that from from people that i follow and it's actually interesting to see yeah it's like a it's a it's a people are proud because you can see that exactly. no one is born with the with the big knowledge you know we we always involve and learn things and so when mm -hmm. people see that you were at a certain point and you are better now 
they can feel uh, some self-confidence about himself and that okay fine if he did it i can do it too so here he is now so i can do the same so yeah well for for my portfolio i well i will take into consideration what you suggest uh, narrow my my area of work and yeah. put more explanation on every logo mm. and explain uh, talk exactly. about the clients, talk about the profile, talk about the business, why I did it, the idea. And yeah, this will give more value to the work. You're right. Yeah. And, 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 and also, I, w- I, w- I will also add something because if you narrow your design area, um, like you can get used in a way to explain the project. Like if you build the logo project once, then you build, you build it twice. So you, you can follow the same structure. And when you build fa- four or five pieces of logos, then you are, you're great. You master it. It's like doing a, you, you like cooking? You like to cook? It depends. Yes. Depends. You know how to do an omelette. <laughs> of course. Of course. Right. So the first time, the first time you did an omelette was like, well, I'm not sure if it's going to work. I've never done it. But then when you do it twice, it's like, oh, I did it once. So I know better how to do it. And now you're going to be, now you are like, okay, let's do an omelette and let's do a long list of other things or let's do a cheese omelette or, or whatever it is. Yeah, masterpiece right? omelette with, with exactly. herbs and cheese and yeah. So it's the same, like if you become an expert in one area, then you can master that area and people are going to look at your work and be like, oh, this woman is really good at that. I'm going to watch This is what other... we all look for. We always right. look for an expert in something. We are more exactly. attracted by someone who knows how to do something very well than someone who See is a generalist. Exactly. So like, okay, yeah, but yeah. Exactly. Because when, when, when you have explained really good something, then you can move on to the next thing and then you have the experience of the first one and then you can build, like if you build logos, then it's great. Now you move to the illustration and the structure is slightly different, but then you get used to the structure of illustration. But people that are going to be looking at your work are going to feel the expertise that you have. And then they're going to assume that you're not just messing around. You, because if you have different stuff um, that doesn't follow a structure, people will be like, okay, I, I don't really know where I'm, where I'm looking at. But the more, the more um, similar is one thing to another, then it becomes easier for people to understand like i'm going to put you on a, a completely different example but you know facebook you have face yeah you have facebook or not no i don't have facebook but you anymore. have linkedin you have linkedin yeah of course you don't have link uh you don't have facebook or instagram okay but i suggest you go into instagram because instagram is a great place for illustration i think yeah i think i need to set up a goal why i would use instagram so that way yeah. i will be focused on it and really hmm. do this you know hmm. and not be lost but what i said what, what i was saying like in, Inst- in in linkedin you know what's the platform you know that on the top there's a blue area or a dark area where the menu is and then you you know when we, when you go to an article you want to read an article and then you go in in you go different layers in then you can go back so you know it's it's easy to understand because they talk in the same language, but sometimes you go to a completely different website and you jump from one website to another. It's like I don't know where I'm. I don't know where I'm going. You know, you lose trust. So with your portfolio, it happens kind of the same. I told you it was a very different example, but you know, people like to know where are they. If that makes sense, like people need to feel a sense of security. I, okay, it's, you know, I'm, I'm in this website. They're talking to me about spaghetti. Uh, we're talking about spaghetti. We're not going to be talking about pineapple right now, you know, and, you know, that's, <laughs> that's pretty, much, <laughs> yeah. pretty much it. But, yeah. Um, do you have well, any I have questions? A, a question, yeah. This is, uh, thank you. So, well, this is a, a, a short question about my interface. So whenever you okay. enter my portfolio, let's say I specialize in screen. logos and 
illustration, hmm. okay? Let's just I'm sharing the screen again. One second. You, I'm sharing the screen because I, I was assuming okay. you want to see the screen. Yeah, thank you. All right. So let's say right. I specialize in logo and illustration, mm -hmm. which means I would just keep two pages here. What I mean by pages is like the pictures that you see. So mm -hmm. let's say the, 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 the short character and, and the logo. Well, so that's it. What do you think about the experience? Like when people enter, they just find these two. Well, let me ask you something because I don't know this, this infrastructure. This, you have like home and contact. Okay. Those are pages that you can create or they yeah, come by Yeah, those default. are gal gallery. So the home is a gallery. And when you enter home, you have these pages. The right. pages and are you... illustration and whatever. So yeah. and you at can the top, create... I can add another gallery. Okay, so you can have gallery for illustration and gallery for logos. Mm, that's right. There we go. So you build in the top menu, you build three items or four, if you like. Home. In home, you have a mixture. Well, in home, I think you should have like a big image showing your face or showing where you live or showing your desk or showing whatever it is that you love that defines you, right? If it is a, a clean white desk with a pencil and a rubber on it and a piece of paper, that's it. If you like photography, then you can show a desk with a, photo with a camera, whatever it is, or maybe you can show your face. But I, may, I think it's important to show your face somewhere, right? So your top menu has four items. The first one is home, right? It can show this, it can show a picture of, your, of yourself or a mix of the whole projects like we are seeing now. Then second item is logo or logos. Then in logos, you can have not the logo folio, but every different, every logo, oh, like how many logos you have? Yeah, one, two, so three, four. So let's say we have four, four so projects. We, when you enter four the projects. logo gallery, we see four projects and in every Correct. project we can enter and read about it and see all the process. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And you can show sketches. If you don't have sketches, you can make them. You can make them. Okay. People are not going to know. And if you lost it, it's probably that you lost them, but you can make them again. Like what's important is to show the process, you know. So logo and then illustration and the same. And then contact. So you have four items. Home, logo, illustration and contact. That's it. Okay, and it would be better, would it be better to add my name uh, above graphic designer illustrator? Yeah, absolutely, 100%. All right. Or you, you don't even need to put yourself a title, graphic designer illustrator, you just put your name or your artistic name or whatever okay. it is that you want. People, people know if you put like logos and illustration, it is clear that you are a graphic designer and an illustrator, but you also say that you are a coach and you are a bus business owner and you are a consultant maybe. So you are more things. So if you put graphic designer, illustrator, it, it, it limits you. Yeah. It doesn't cover all this. what I do. Yeah. It doesn't cover all and it's, it's limiting you to other, th other stuff. You see where I'm going? Okay. What I like, what I really like is scroll down to see the man's, man's laboratory. <laughs> laboratory. Yeah, I, I consider you, my, my portfolio as a laboratory. Great. I, so maybe you can develop an identity with, you know, this laboratory stuff and do some yeah. Photoshop. You can do some speed art in Photoshop, creating some Photoshop lab, some laboratory stuff and put it here in the first screen as a video, as a speed art background. I mean, you know, you, you are you, 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 you're gonna you're gonna be great i mean you're gonna you. crush it you're gonna crush it <laughs> i hope so you're gonna crush it in the next months <laughs> yeah what else well that was an amazing amazing session with you thank you <laughs> i appreciate that um as i said uh we've we've recorded this uh, so we're gonna put it out and you can revise it again um and i hope some people can can find it beneficial too um For sure 
right? Do you have any more questions? I'm fine. Thank Good. you a lot. Let's keep in touch. Uh, let's keep in touch. Um, share with me. Share with me. I'll, I'll give you feedback again. We can do another session and uh, one-to-one engagement. Um, and, and yeah, uh, just keep it going. It's you, You're going to crush it. Thanks a lot for your right. help. <laughs> right. Have a good so, afternoon. Thank you. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye.